Hey there! There was a pen show in the Netherlands and it was called the Dutch Pen Show. And at that pen show they released three pens, which were exclusive tie-ins to the pen show. And I was kindly lent all three of them by Joost Appelbaum. Um, and the first one that we're going to be talking about is the Estabrook ST. And this is the Dutch Pen Show 2024 Sugar Rush. The theme of the pen show was Sugar Rush. This pen really leaned into that with the box and all three of these pens. There is also a Visconti, which I will review later, and there is a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande, which I will review later. Today we only talk about this pen, and uh, all of them have candy themes. I mean, it, again, it was, was Sugar Rush was the theme, so they'll kind of look like, like candy. So, so there we are. Um, I'm going to cover the parts of this pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, but before I do that, I'll do a writing sample. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the Estabrook SD Dutch Pen Show 2024 Sugar Rush. I love the box. Estabrook has made real effort in creating a box that is fun, appealing, colorful. There's candy on it. Remember, the Sugar Rush was the theme uh, for this pen show. The, sorry, candy, the cupcakes. Very cute. So let me just do a, do a sort of 360. We have the Sugar Rush logo. We have the Dutch Pen Show logo. Again, lots and lots of candy, very colorful. I really commend them for this. I think it is awesome. Estabrook logo. We have the Sugar Rush fountain pen. Looks very, very cute. Now I'm gonna try to open that outer sleeve. That's the cardboard outer sleeve. And then we have the actual box. And I kind of like this cloth covered material that they do. The red is quite attractive. It works well. Uh, and then we have the magnetic closure. Uh, we have America's original Reborn. We have a little pen bed, which I believe, yes, comes out. Then we have a cartridge and we have in the world's cutest little envelope. I, I will say I really like that. We have this little Estabrook um, sort of registration card. Okay, I'm gonna try to put this together in such a way that I don't take up your entire life. Sorry. There we are, okay. Accompanying the pen is this uh, canvas pen, not really a wrap, pen sleeve is the word I'm looking for. Again, Dutch pen show. Not the quill logo, but it does have the, the writing in their font on it, and then the Estabrook logo on the other side. I haven't opened this, I'm sure it works well. It's, it's a pen sleeve, but I'm, I only have this on loan. I'm trying to keep this sealed for whoever ends up having this pen in their collection. Okay, the actual pen right next to a Pilot Metropolitan. You can see it's a bit longer and is definitely a little bit girthier. Nice size, the Estes. Let's talk about the pen a bit. You have various nib options. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and stub, all in steel. And then you have the journaler, scribe, and needlepoint nibs. Now those are specialty nibs, ground, and uh, so like, like hand ground, those are 90 euros extra. For the extra fine through broad or stub steel nibs, you will pay 219 euros without tax. This is at Applebaum because it was Applebaum doing this for the show. It's a nice blue-green acrylic, matches the Sugar Rush theme. It does have the Dutch Pen Show logo on the nib, but not on the specialty nib. So that's only, the, again, extra fine through broad and stub nibs. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Let's look at this tie-in pen in a bit more detail. So on top of the cap, same material as the rest of the cap, we have this uh, ST clip that we've seen in other STs. It has Estabrook right there. The clip is nice and springy. We have the sort of gold colored ring. I say sort of because I'm sure it's not solid gold. <laughs> uh, okay, and then we have the barrel. Tapers down, nicely rounded there. Same material as the rest of the pen. So if you like this material, you're in luck because everybody on this, everything on this pen is that same material. The pen unscrews, there seems to be a bit of a a spring-loaded action going on in there uh, to make sure the inner cap really seals off the pen so it doesn't dry out, and that works well. I've, I've, I've left it uncapped for a while and it, it wrote straight out of the box. 
sorry, uh, sorry, not out of the box. It rolled straight out of the cap, I guess. Sorry. Another gold ring, colored ring. Threads, very nice. They're quite big, so they're not at all sharp. You will not accidentally cut yourself on them. We have a section that tapers down and flares out a little bit. And then we have a Yovo nib, which has the Dutch Pencho logo laser engraved on it. I don't know how well you can see it, but I'll make sure there's a picture on the website. And then we have just the feed. And of course, this is a cartridge converter filled pen with uh, the Esterbrook logo on the converter. I always like that when companies do that, that just elevates the simple humble converter a little bit. And something else that I really like is that the threads on the section are metal and inside the barrel they're also metal. So you will not have metal threads grinding down the acrylic over time so that at some point you'll have um, a barrel that just slips off. That can happen over time. I mean you need to unscrew it a large number of times for that to happen. Anyway, nice size. Again, I think this works for a lot of people. Not too big, not too small. And if you want to, you can post it securely. Hey, these are colorful pens, bit of chatoyance to the material, very collectible pens. I think they're quite nice. I don't really feel the need to own an SD, but they are nice. They, that's just on me. Uh, they're, they're nicely made. And uh, so there we are. Let's see how this pen writes. I'm just going to zoom in just a tiny bit. We have here the Esther Brook. SD, oops, that was not a skip, that was me not really making contact with the paper. We have the Sugar Rush. Um, this uh, um, particular pen is a broad nib and the ink is Leonardo Man Turquoise. Um, this is a mix of Leonardo Turquoise and some of the Waterman South Sea, it used to be called South Sea, they're turquoise. I had a little bit left of both and I, I threw it together. I'm sorry, that's, that's the way it is. Now, writing, is it the broadest broad I've ever seen? No, but it writes lovely. Nice, smooth, nice pleasant wetness to it. I point out again that down here was not a skip, that was actually me misaligning the pen. Very nice. Wetness, this is under no pressure whatsoever. Nice wet writer, very good flow, I really like it. Shape of the nib, well it seems to be nicely rounded, but you can get sort of an architect uh, nib. Um, I want to say that's the scribe and not the journal. I have reviewed one of those in the past on an SD. Um, so quite nice. Uh, line variation is always very careful. This not advertised as a flex nib, um, but you seem to be able to squeeze out a bit of line variation. But again, very careful. It's not, it's not a flex nib. I'm just showing that for demonstration purposes. Verse writing becomes drier, but certainly finer. This lighter ink may not be the best choice for that, but you can certainly do it. It doesn't become super scratchy. So if you want to go from something broader to something finer, especially with a darker ink that shows up better on the paper. You can, and um, I would say that's really all there's to it. So let's discuss uh, what I like and what I don't like about the SD. What do I like? What do I not like about the Estabrook SD? Well, there are some things I like. I think it's a pretty material. I, I think of the three pens I find this material um, the, the, the least candy-like, uh, but that, that's just me. It is, a, it is an attractive material, uh, nice, uh, has a little bit of chatoyance to it when it catches the light properly, it's really quite nice. It's a nice size, the ST. I think it works for a lot of people. It's not particularly huge or anything, um, works fairly well. I think it's, it's kind of, if there is a one size fits all, I think this is the kind of pen size that, that does that. I like the uh, sort of spring-loaded cap. It, it does seem to keep the pen uh, wet. I, I on purpose tried to not write with it for I think a week and a half or so. 
uncapped it and it, it wrote straight away. Sorry, that was weird. Straight away. Uh, so that's that's great. That that capping mechanism does seem to work. <clears throat> nice writer, pretty material. Tie-in. Tie-ins tend to be a bit more expensive. The STs are on the expensive end of the spectrum, I find, for what you get. Um, but this one's no exception. 219 euros, that's without VAT. I'm not talking specialty nibs. Those add a price, but those are hand-ground nibs. I understand those would add to the price. Currently, that converts to about 235 US for a steel-nibbed pen, cartridge converter. Um, I find that on, on the higher end of the price spectrum, but again, I will say <clears throat> it is a cute pen. It's, it's attractive. It does come with a, with a canvas pen case, which you can also buy separately. So, I mean, you, you do get a nice package uh, and, and I kind of like that. So, is it something I would buy for myself? Absolutely not. Uh, but that's what makes things so interesting, isn't it? Tastes differ and that's okay. We tend to forget that in our current day and age. But there's something for everyone. This one's not for me. Something else will be, but this one will be for a lot of other people. And that's fine. We can all agree to disagree or, as I prefer, disagree to agree. Now, um, there we are. A very kind thank you to Yoast for lending me the pen. I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful and I'll gladly see you later. Bye.